Hello, love. I am not saying this sourcing strategy is going to make you a millionaire by any means, but I will tell you it's a cool way and very cheap, meaning free way to explore some different brands you might not have heard of before. Now, this strategy, of course, I'm talking about sourcing through Flip. Now, Flip is an online consignment where you get matched with people trying to get rid of their clothes or get rid of their inventory. Sometimes you do get resellers there and you get to take it off their hands. It gets shipped to you. You get to set your consignment percentage of the amount of money that you want to take versus the amount of money that you give back to them when your items sell. The haul that I'm showing you right now was a 50-50 split. Now the first one that I hauled was I, I got 40% just because Flip suggested to start low to get some reviews in. I did have a couple of reviews, a couple of lots in. They went well, so I raised my prices to 50%. Since then, I've actually raised it to 60%. So if you watched my last video, you know that I got myself into this death pile disaster that I'm trying to work my way out of. A lot of this is flip inventory. And I will say, as I got more and more, I got more picky on what I was selecting. The haul that I'm showing you today, I will say is just kind of mid-tier not too exciting but again it's something to try out and it was no money to me to begin with so one of the first things that i listed from the slot was a pink kenneth cole pant they're jeans um they are kenneth cole they're not kenneth cole reaction if that matters to you these are size 28 these are listed on all of the different platforms right now. They haven't sold just yet, but they do have some interest going around on specifically Mercari. Now this next thing is a Nike sports bra. Nothing too exciting, but again, this has also shown a lot of interest so far. No buyers just yet. I'm okay with it though, because one of the cool things about Flip is if it doesn't sell in 90 days, you get the option of asking the seller if they want to just donate, have you just donate to Goodwill or whatever, if they want you to just make a buyout offer, which usually you can get stuff really cheap because people just want to get rid of it, or sometimes people choose to get it sent back to them. I haven't so far had anybody that wants it sent back. It seems like people are just wanting to get rid of this. So in reality, if this doesn't sell, I can put it right back on the flip for somebody else to sell, or I can send it to Threat Up as well. These are a pair of Born sandals. Nothing too exciting. These are cloth in the top and then it's leather. Just a pair of sandals. These also have had a lot of interest on Poshmark. I always like to point out what has interest on each platform because I'm, I like to track what sells on each platform because it is vastly different. I sell a, things for a lot more money on Poshmark even though they take a higher percentage it seems like the people that go there are expecting to pay more versus ebay and mercari go for a lot less i would say mercari is the least amount of money that things go for and ebay is kind of hit or miss it kind of just you know i guess depends on who's looking for the item this does have a tag it's a philosophy blazer let's see if it says the price it doesn't say the price. It does look like it's some kind of clearance item or something, maybe from TJ Maxx. Um, it's just a blue blazer. As you can tell with my nails, I am feeling the blue right now and my dress, which by the way, this dress is linked in the description in case you're interested everything i always wear is always in the description for you this is a pair of fabletics it does have the tag 60 dollars. it's like a ribbed pair of leggings now somebody right now is in negotiation with me on mercari wanting these for 20 dollars because it is flipped and i did promise a certain amount to the person who sent this to me, I'm not letting it go for that amount, 
but if it does get to that 90 day mark, I will of course talk to the person that sent me this and see if they wanna let it go for cheaper or what they wanna do. This is a pink by Victoria's Secret bralette. Very cute. All of this stuff is in excellent condition, by the way. I, this is stuff that I would pick up on my own too, just for like quick flips. This is a size large. Very cute. VSX, which is the Victoria's Secret Sport line. This does have pretty good padding and it also is wired as well. It's kind of hard to show that in video, but it definitely has a wire attached to it. This is also showing interest on Poshmark. This is a 32C. And then a pair of Joe's jeans. These are boot cut, I would say boot cut slash flare. They are smaller size, which may be why there's not as much interest in them. These are size 24. I guess they're called the Visionaire. Um, I never picked up Joe's jeans until Flip, and a couple of my other Flip Flops has Joe's jeans in them, so I'm learning a little bit about them. Yes, they go for, you know, an okay amount of money, but not a crazy amount of money. Flip is also a good way to just learn about different brands because some of the lots that I picked up, I picked up because I knew some of the brands, I've heard of them before, but then other items in the lot I've never heard of and I'm learning about just like I am the Joe's jeans. Now I did have two things sell from this lot so far. One is an Athleta dress, which I will put a picture of the listing here. That sold for $7.05. Obviously, like I said, I'm not making millions on these types of lots, but it is an interesting way to source for no money and just learn about different things. I've never really, I knew about Athleta for sure, but I've never really picked it up uh, just because I don't run into it that much. So it's a cool way to get inventory that I don't typically see. The other thing that I sold was a the North Face Skort. This sold for $14, of course. I'll put a picture here for you. This, again, is something that I probably wouldn't have picked up, and those are the two things that sold so far. Like I said, I do have plenty more lots that I'm going to share with you, so if you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you are notified when my videos come out and we can continue to learn and grow together.